Golf Life, a show focused on your golf lifestyle. Welcome to Golf Life. We're here in beautiful Southern California with our great co-host, Alyssa Kasar at New Later Golfer on Instagram. Alyssa, how are we doing? I'm doing great, Colton. Thank you guys so much for having me. I'm so excited to be the guest co-host for this episode. We have so many fun things to showcase this month, so why don't you go ahead and tell the people at home a little bit about that? Yeah, well, we took a trip down the coast, Pelican Hill Golf Club, Southern California Golf Academy. We're here at the beautiful Omni La Casa. This place is amazing. Yes, love it. We also get great instruction from top teachers and new product is coming your way. But first, you have a great story with your coach, Mike Max. Yes, it was so nice to have you guys out with me the other day at the Southern California Golf Academy. A very unique range over in Carlsbad. And it's where I train with my coach, Mike Mags. And uh, let's go check it out. Let's get to it. So I know how you started in golf, but maybe the folks at home might want to know. So about a year and a half ago, I moved to California from the East Coast. And when I got here, I really wanted to learn to play golf. So I started a new Instagram page. You can find me at New Lady Golfer. I was documenting a beginner golfer journey. So I was showing me practicing, showing me hitting some different milestones, actually playing my first round, my longest drive. And then one day, I got a DM from a coach who was inquiring about the potential of working together. And that was where Coach Mike came in. Yeah, I saw Alyssa working on her game and very excited about making a putt or a chip or something. So I, I was looking for somebody that I could do some social media with that we could teach over time hopefully a beginner, and somebody that was very passionate about the game. And right away I could tell she's gonna be a very good student, very passionate about it, very serious about it, and she was already talking about wanting to take that journey. So I reached out to her. She had, I think, 400 followers at the time. I figured that might increase, <laughs> which it certainly did. Yep. And then uh, we started working together and started doing some videos. They were a little rough in the beginning. Yeah, we've come a long way from our, from our beginning videos, but it's been a great partnership. We've been working together now over a year and we've grown our accounts, which was kind of like, at least for me, was not a goal in the forefront. I really wanted to get better at golf, but it's just sort of been a side benefit of what we're doing. And I think the reason why we've had success, because we are very genuine. I care about getting better. Mike cares about his students getting better. And at the same time, when we are training, we're also having a lot of fun. Mike has been really committed to helping me get better. I got to play in the Harris Pro-Am for the Farmers Insurance Open this year. And then to you know, also get to do stuff like this with Golf Life TV. It's just been, it's been a dream, right, Coach? Yeah. <laughs> My best suggestion, and I think one of the best things that I did very early on, once I decided that I wanted to learn to play, was to seek out instruction. Because that way, right from the get-go, it did give me more confidence. Even if I wasn't hitting great shots all the time, at least I knew I was in good hands. So that would be my best suggestion for those of you that are just starting out is to find that instruction, whether it be one-on-one, -on -one, it just helps right from the ground floor, getting those basic mechanics down for your golf swing and, and really all aspects of the game from the swing, putting, chipping, getting out of a bunker. It just gives you that confidence that you're having somebody who knows what they're doing teach you those basic skills and then you can build from there. Great way to get started would be online lessons. Stick with one coach for a while, let him go through his process or her process. And then if after some time, if it's not connecting anymore, then okay, go ahead and try something else, maybe do something in person. But great way to get started would be online lessons, a video series on demand, any of those things, just get some fundamentals. Now, let's go out to Omni La Costa, where Director of Instruction, AJ Avoli, gives Alyssa a quick tip on getting out of the greenside bunker. Hi, AJ Avoli here with the Omni La Costa Resort, and I'm here today to help you get out of the greenside bunker. The first thing we want to do is assess our lie. If we have a good lie, we're going to go ahead and open the club face from 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock, and then grip the club face. From there, we're going to aim towards the target. The club face will look like it's pointed to the right of the target. So we're going to keep walking our body to the left. We want a nice wide stance. We're walking our body to the left until the club face is pointed at the hole. And from there, we're gonna set our weight a little bit left, about 60%. A lot of you may be swinging your arms too much. We wanna, we wanna get some speed here. So we want speed to create spin. So we wanna create a nice angle to help you to get spin on your shots. From there, 
one of the important things is to keep your weight on your left foot and not move it back. We want to hit about an inch into an inch and a half of sand, so we want to keep our upper body over the golf ball so that we can ensure that we take the correct amount of sand. Let me demonstrate. All right, Alyssa, you got yourself at the bunker. Let's see if you can get yourself out. Okay, I'm pretty sure with you coaching me, I'll be able to do it just fine. <laughs> so we're gonna open the club face. We're gonna have the ball forward in our stance. Nice relaxed hands. And then we're gonna try to create a nice little hinge motion with a turn. Okay, so, okay. all right, let's see. Okay, this is, this is a perfect example of what I was talking about. It's very normal for a lot of us to make more of our full swing. Okay. So basically we wanna keep the club more in front of your body. So what we have to do is create that V-shaped hinge motion where the club's more in front of your body. Because if it's behind your body, you'll have a tendency to hit too much sand. Okay. So you wanna keep the club more in front of your body. And so if you stay to the left and keep your hands close to your leg, as you hinge, you'll find that the club will stay more in front of you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so not back here, right here. Correct. There you go. Okay. Good. And let's do that and splash the sand okay. a couple of times. So I'll put a little line here for you. Okay. So that's pretend like that's the ball. Okay. And I'm going to actually stand here. Okay. okay. <laughs> so I want you to take your backswing where you feel like your hands are staying closer to your body. Hinge up the club this way, which okay. may feel a little awkward. Okay. Okay, let's try that again. Better. Go through. Good. We just hit maybe two and a half inches of sand, so I want you to hit maybe about that much, about an inch of sand. Okay. So we're going to focus not on the ball, but on that line. Swing through. Better. Good. So the more you do that, the closer you'll hit to the ball and you'll get a little more spin off of your shot. You're getting them all out, we're just hitting a little too much sand which will make the ball roll. Gotcha. So the better you can get at that hinge motion, the better, the easier these will be. Cool. Yeah. Sounds Very great. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. When we return, we go back out to Omni La Costa and show you two great golf products that are helping the game of golf grow. The incredible fat scooters and the brand new XP1 set from Hanma Golf. That's next. Yeah, I'm Ken Duke, and I've been known for being one of the best drivers of the golf ball on the PGA Tour for the last 10 to 15 years, and now on the PGA Tour Champions. And one big success, I think, is the Survivor T. With the center prong technology, the ball sets up, and it gives me that consistent flight when it comes off the club face. The ball rolls out a lot more, and I've gained at least 10 to 15 yards longer off the tee shots. And for me, getting a little bit older, we all need that, right? There's times that you want to spin on the golf ball and sometimes you don't. And off the driver, you do not. You want that ball to really roll out. Now, I've tried the wooden tees on the launch monitor and the survivor tee, and this one comes off at least 1,000 RPMs lower spin. The durability and the way the ball just comes off the tee, it's a great feeling. We all need a little more distance. And this survivor tee with this center prong technology, it's the ticket. Survivor Golf Tee is now available at Walmart and online at walmart.com. Welcome back to Golf Life. Alyssa, we love to tell stories about golf companies that are changing the game of golf and actually growing the game of golf. We have two companies that we took out to Omni La Casa. Yes, we got to go test drive the new XP1 line by Hanma, as well as ride the new 2020 Fat Scooter, they have eight brand new ones here at Omni La Casa, and we can't wait to share our experience with those two brands here today. Honda's got a great history of craftsmanship. It's really what the company was founded on. I mean, it's a 60-year-old brand, so making golf clubs for a long time, and golfers, once they hit the product, and they see the product, and they feel the product, they can get an appreciation for all that time and experience and craftsmanship that Honda has developed over the years. The Hanma XP1, it's a game improvement product, and it's really the first product that we added some more Western features. We've tried to take all that great craftsmanship 
and sensibilities that the Japan design team has and bring them to the U.S. market in a product that really works for a lot of golfers. A lot of great technology in XP1, particularly in the driver. It's got a carbon crown that can be molded into a ribbed pattern. So by adding the ribs, which is a unique process to Hanma, it really allows us to make this really thin and light. So that helps bias the weight low, which is great for a game improvement driver. But this product's unique in that as the face flexes, it flexes around that central hinge point. So it's faster on off-center hits, which is great for a game improvement golfer. And as that face flexes around that center hinge point, it adds a little bit of gear, gear effect spin. It's one feature that delivers both speed and straight, which for a game improvement golfer, that's exactly what they want. The reality is you're gonna face some longer approach shots into a green. You may not always have an iron in your hand. You may have to hit a fairway or a hybrid. And if you think about it, these are the longest clubs that you hit off the turf. So that makes them challenging. You want to play a product that makes it easy to get the ball up in the air, so it has to be weighted properly. And one of the inherent characteristics of slots and getting the face to flex is it's a little bit lower spin. So that's typically a good uh, combination you hear about with drivers, high launch, low spin. It also helps with fairways and hybrids as well. Enough launch to get the ball in the air, to get it traveling on a proper trajectory, enough speed to make it carry, those are the things that we were thinking about when we designed the XP1 fairways and hybrids. XP1 irons are a game improvement iron, so we've done the typical things that you'll see in a game improvement iron. We've made them a little bit larger, but still a beautiful shape. And in terms of the fit and finish and polishing, the things that Hanma is known for, say in the Berez line, our super premium line, you know, we've been able to bring some of that to this product as well. At Hanma, we think there is an emotional connection as well, though. You gotta feel good about what's in your bag, the way it looks, you know, when it's sitting in your bag and when you put it down in the playing position. You wanna look at something different that really offers you great performance, a little different aesthetic, and, and maybe a little bit different emotional connection with the golf club. We think Hanma's a, a great place to look. Single rider vehicles are taking over the game of golf. Fast Scooters has been at the forefront of this revolution, and they are changing the way we play golf. Inspired to enhance the golfer's experience, the ride is nothing short of easy and eco-friendly. If you haven't experienced a round of golf on the fast scooters, there are some amazing benefits. Having the ability to play faster and better will only allow you to have more fun on the golf course. Travel to your own ball, set up your pre-shot routine, and hit your shot. The fast scooters allow you to stay focused on your game and gain the freedom of having your own ride on the golf course. These vehicles also help the golf courses. They are lighter and leave less wear and tear to the golf courses than a regular golf cart would. The new 2020 edition scooters feature a 1500 watt motor with increased torque, fat all-terrain radial tires, and a 36 or more hole range on one single charge. Fat Scooters was named the Golf Digest's best in golf list for 2019, and they continue to help the game of golf grow. If you want to learn more about the Fat Scooters and get the original electric scooter for yourself, Go to FatScooters.com. Coming up next, we take a trip down memory lane with professional sports photographer Robert Beck as he gives us the stories behind his iconic photographs. Do you want to learn to read greens and understand break more naturally? Get your hands on Levelhead. It's a simple bubble level and ball marker. To use Levelhead, you simply place it on the green. If the bubble goes to the left or the right, you're on a side slope and have a breaking putt. Line up the notches on the level head toward the hole. Then use a line on your golf ball to line up the bubble. You'll be able to read the break, visualize the line, and focus on the speed of your putts. Level head also helps practice reading uphill and downhill putts. Once you know the line, you'll be much more confident and improve at reading greens. Level head is lightweight, fits in your bag, and can be used as a ball marker during practice rounds. To get level head now, head over to iron-ladgolf.com. Buy two level heads and get one free. Get yours at iron-ladgolf.com. Sit tight. You'll be on the back nine with Golf Life in a moment. Welcome back to Golf Life. Right here in Carlsbad, California is an amazing story. Robert Beck. 
He's a Sports Illustrated photographer, and he's been around. He's seen a lot. Yeah, he's got to take photos of Tiger Woods. He's taken photos of all the different legends. We're so excited to have him on the show. We can't wait to meet him. Let's go meet Robert Beck. In the mid-'80s, I had um, gotten into photography. I was shooting a lot of surf photography and became a staffer at Surfer Magazine probably in 84, somewhere like that. And I was there for about five or six years. And by 86, I went over and uh, shot an Ironman triathlon. One of the pictures that I took ended up being the table of contents for Sports Illustrated. Life Magazine picked it as one of their pictures of the decade. And that was my, my kickstart for working for Sports Illustrated. The magazine started this Golf Plus project and they needed to cover about 48 weeks of golf a year as opposed to usually just covering the majors. And then about two years after Golf Plus started, this, this guy named Tiger Woods shows up and all of a sudden golf was the most popular sport on earth. And it really picked up, it was really exciting because every tournament that he was in was, you know, eight billion people there yelling and screaming and it was just a rock star on the golf course every day. But uh, it was just a great time, it was a lot of fun. This was Tiger's first pro tournament in 92, I think it was. He was an amateur, but obviously he's a little bit smaller and a little bit skinnier than uh, he is now. But yeah, that was his, his very first pro tournament. And even then, people knew the buzz about Tiger Woods. Tiger is, he's a personality. You can shoot him doing almost anything. And A, people are gonna know who it is and B, the fact that it is Tiger. Before Tiger, nobody did this. Very rarely did they go bananas like Tiger does. This is a typical shot that works because it's Tiger. You know, maybe you could do it with Nicholas or Palmer in those days, but I don't really know anybody else. But Tiger just had that swing. This is a silhouette, but you know it's him. So you could silhouette him and make it all part of the package and it makes a, a better picture. I mean, this was unusual because I'm not a soccer person. There are a lot of people who have this picture, who have this moment. We were lucky enough to have it from this spot. It's at the Rose Bowl. I grew up near the Rose Bowl, and I always like going up there. It's like going home, very familiar. I was lucky enough to be shooting for Sports Illustrated, and when they ran it as a, a cover photo, I mean, one of the great things is, is there's no, no other blurbs on the photo. It's just the word yes. It's just really clean and it's really iconic. The, the joy was kind of just personal. I knew I had a good picture. I didn't know how good, and I didn't know the impact it would have on other people. And I really didn't realize that till, I don't know, it was five, six, seven years later, and I saw Brandy and I thought, I should introduce myself. I've never met her. She was talking to somebody else. And when she was done, she looked at me and she said, hi, how can I help you? And I said, my name's Rep. Robert Beck. I took that picture that was the cover of Sports Illustrated. And she jumped on me. She jumped on my arms and wrapped her legs around me. And she was screaming and, and crying almost. But you know, she finally gains control and hops down and she says, you don't understand what that meant to our team and to hundreds of thousands of girls, not just in the United States, but around the world, that now they could be seen as athletes. They could be seen on the cover of Sports Illustrated. It completely changed what that image meant to me. And, I, and socially, I came to understand how important that that picture really was. I think the bottom line is, when you talk about iconic images, there aren't a lot of them. And to have one, it's an honor. There's luck involved, but it's something that I can put in my back pocket that no one can take away from me. The new High Heat 257 Plus Fairway Woods and hybrids are made to handle tough situations out on the golf course. We show you how you can score better with these clubs. I'm going to take you out here at Omni Interlocking out in Colorado where we're just coming out of the winter months. The turf is really tight. You got various grass conditions. I want to show you how to score better. I'm holding in my hand the 257 Plus Fairway Wood and Hybrid with the Turf Glider Sole from Knuth Golf. Let's show you some of these key shots to help your game. 
We've got an orange ball because we have an alert. We have a ball down, and you're gonna get that coming out of the winter. 178 hybrid with the turf glider sole. All I gotta do is trust the technology and put a nice easy swing on it and get the ball out. And you can see that ball came flying out. That turf glider sole, the titanium body, really gives me a hot shot, and I can trust that that turf glider is gonna go down in that ball mark and get the ball out. 200 yard shot, but in the rough. Gotta use a fairway wood to score here, really critical. And I need a club that can go down and get this ball out of the rough. We were able to go down and get it with the turf glider. We're on the green, we're scoring. It felt like I was in the fairway. I got the fairway wood out, turf glider sole, fairway bunker. Just gotta get it up there. And you can see that worked right through the sand. I hit it out. I'm up near the green. I'm gonna be able to score better. Oh baby, and there it is, running up to the front of the green there. I'm getting more distance. I know you will get more distance. If you'll head over to knuthgolf.com, you'll get 25% off. Simply mention Golf Life TV. You're gonna score better if you hit more greens. Print magazines are dying, but the Golfer's Journal is thriving. We visit the Golfer's Journal HQ in San Clemente when we return. Here's a gift to golfers from Golf Life. As our lives have been changed this past month, we want to give you open access to Golf Life On Demand. Enjoy golf lessons, tours of great courses and resorts, and features on events, golf companies, and much more. Just visit us at golflife.com. Click On Demand and use the code FREEGOLF when you subscribe. Get free access this month at ondemand.golflife.com with code FREEGOLF. Welcome back to Golf Life. We love to dig for lifestyle stories in the golf arena. Right down the road in San Clemente, California is the Golfer's Journal. Yep, they come out with their edition four times a year. Great coffee table reading. It's beautiful imagery, great stories inside, and we're so excited to spend more time with them and, and hear more about Golfer's Journal. We've made it up the coast, San Clemente, California, here at the Golfer's Journal HQ. Brendan, he's the publisher of the magazine. Brendan, how are we doing? We're doing great, thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you for having us. It didn't start with Golfer's Journal though. It started with Surfer's Journal. Tell me about that story. Surfer's Journal has been around for coming up on its 30th year now. So it's an icon in the surf world mm -hmm. at this point. And you know, it's had such success, it was kind of ahead of its time in its model and limited advertising, really premium product. And while the rest of the publishing world struggled against the you know the rise of the mm -hmm. internet the surface journal has been steadily growing and, and doing a, an amazing job of you know delivering great content to its subscribers so when uh, I saw the success of how the surface journal is doing it made a lot of sense that you know golf didn't have something like this so we, we decided to to launch the golf publication talk about the visuals that are in the golfers journal great visuals great golf courses great stories what's inside it's easy to describe what we are by what we're not. You know, um, we, we don't do a lot of swing tips. We're not doing uh, club reviews and celebrity profiles. We're, we're really talking about the, the kind of purest part of the game. And by that, that doesn't mean you know, it's all links golf. You have urban golf. Anyone who's just playing the game for the love of it is pretty much what our, um, what our focus is. You know, we, we tackle the people and the places and the culture of, of the game. And you know, it's an interesting thing. It's a very visual product, but when we started it, we didn't want it to be kind of the you know, visuals that you see in so many other publications. So there was no one, you know, nothing really in the golf space that we, we could like lean on to kind of emulate. So we had to create it from scratch. We ended up, you know, I hired a bunch of my surf photographers that, you know, photograph surfing and we went out and uh, photographed the golf space in a completely different way. And um, that's kind of why the, the book looks the way it does. If you had a day off, would you go play golf or go to the beach and surf? Um, I'd probably be looking after my kids uh, <laughs> first, but um, it, that's why surfing and golfing go so well together. If the surf's good, I can go surfing, and when the surf's not good, I can go play golf. Mm -hmm. So um, it's time for both of them if I can tear myself away from the office. If you haven't checked out the magazine, you gotta go check it out. Where can people get in touch with you, learn more about the magazine, 
and uh, ultimately become a member. Um, my cell number is, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, go golfersjournal.com is where all of the information you can need is possibly there. And uh, yeah, we're, we're online. I mean, we're a print publication, but we're certainly online. So. Brandon, appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us in the HQ. Appreciate Thank you for coming it. by. Cheers. Thanks. Now let's head to Pelican Hill Golf Club in Newport Beach, California to learn how top 100 golf teacher Glenn Deck uses video in his golf lessons. Hi, my name is Glenn Deck. I'm the director of instruction at Pelican Hill Golf Club at the beautiful Pelican Hill Resort in Newport Coast, California. And you know, when you work with people and teaching guys, they learn different ways. But one of the best ways they learn is visually. So I use V1 all the time in my lessons. I capture video, can show somebody what they're doing right away it kind of sticks in their mind that new picture which is really critical. Yeah one of the beauties about V1 is they've got a V1 app if they want to get put on their phone that's the best thing to do. They can also from there actually take pictures of themselves. I'm not always going to be there with them so if they know what to look for they can take, pull out their phone use their V1 app, load up a golf swing, play it back and look at it and if they've got some real questions they can reach out to me. But the beauty is guess what? If they know what to look for it's really easy. I use V1 for every golf lesson. I think it's that important. It can benefit you. So if you're a student out there, you want to improve your golf game, get the V1 app. Thanks for watching Golf Life. Don't forget to visit us at golflife.com and sign up for our weekly newsletter. Plus, find Golf Life on social media for daily golf videos and reviews. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the 19th hole.